a couple of overlooked Elvis records that came out back in the summer of 1967. Uh, There's Always Me, that was one of them. And uh, Judy, Judy coming in on Billboard's Hot 100, September 16th, 1967. It is at number 88, up one from 89 the previous week. Uh, up tempo, so sort so of a rock and roll record, not rocking hard enough, but up tempo for Elvis, the movie Elvis back in the early to mid to, to late 60s. And uh, this record was originally written by, well, it was originally done, it was written by Teddy Riddell. Elvis recorded his version of it March 13, 1961. This song was a re-release of one of his older records. Uh, March 13, 1961, RCA Studios in Nashville, Tennessee. The album, Something for Everybody, it was on side two. It was buried on side two of the album, cut number four originally on that album and it was re-released in 1967 and also uh, I believe it's, it's also from the same album There's Always Me as well released in 1967 but both of those songs did not make top 40 I'll get into the chart positions of Judy in just a minute gotta mention Steve Shows, one of the producers of this album Something for Everybody. Steve Shaw's produced some of Elvis Presley's early big hits. He produced Heartbreak Hotel. And I want you, I need you, I love you. I, I can't go into the story. The story of this that song fascinates me. But I can't go into it big time. But let it be known that 17 takes of that song were cut in the recording studio. It was, a, it was an unproductive, frustrating recording session. And this is, I want you, I need you, I love you. Steve Shows was not happy. He said to himself, gosh, I, this is just wasted. This is totally blown. We wasted $1,000 to bring Elvis back from touring to record this record. But Steve Shows, he saved that record. This guy had some technical proudness. He took uh, take 14 and take 17. Those are the two takes that he at least halfway liked. He spliced, he cut them together, the best parts, and created a decent take, released it as a single. I want you, I need you, I love you. And that's interesting because that was one of Elvis's most impassioned records. But let's go to Judy. This nice record, nice record, up-tempo beat. Elvis still got that rock and roll and his soul. Judy by Elvis at number 88. It was not a hit, though. God, is Overlooked, peaked at number 78. It was on Billboard's Hot 100 for five weeks, late summer of 1967, but it is the king doing Judy.